I'm not <laughs> much of a rapper. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, you could just say the four bar say it in your regular voice. Yeah. My Maybe name is Miss Renee. I can hear some spoken word <laughs> on you real quick. Ooh. I would Tyler. love some good spoken word. <laughs> cracking people of the universe it's your girl rosabel thanks for tuning in to my video and thanks for vibing with me today i got my girl miss renee on the show from her podcast miss renee said games might be me <laughs> you already know that she's playing wordplay the rules of the game are simple she has to give me four bars in 10 seconds about one word if you don't you'll get the buzzer you can sing a song that you know, you can rap about it, you can freestyle, you can talk about a topic, but you gotta give it to me. Yes. <laughs> Are you ready for your first word? Yes. Okay. <laughs> your first word is between. Between. Oh, the Ron Isley, the Isley Brothers. In between the sheets. I don't remember all the words. That sucks. <laughs> Pretend. So, I think people need to stop pretending to be something that they aren't. Stop stunting for social media. Stop trying to live a way that you're not. Mm -hmm. Just for likes and follows. Pretending is just, it's not authentic. You should always want to be your most authentic self. Mm -hmm. Because being you is easy. It's you. Trying to be someone else is hard. So, just be Just be you. I like that. I've been working on myself this year. Just being me, finding myself, and staying true to myself. That's me. That's what I've been working on. So, I like that. Your next word is candy. <laughs> candy. It's mm -hmm. always so Run the first one. Oh, God. Yeah. It's just always so <laughs> Oh, because then I started thinking about what was the D for it. And I saw when it was like, can you do it? Candy's bad for your teeth. Don't eat it. <laughs> Don't eat the candy. All the sugar is bad for your teeth. You're going to have a rotten mouth. It's going to be yuck mouth. <laughs> it's nasty. What we got in this cup? This is called a Rossi. What flavor? Sangria. We did it on Ross. Chili. Posse. We out here. Hey, because I'm in the club, so I'll be. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Ross. Your next word is futuristic, though. Ooh. Futuristic? Oh, that's not even in the song that I can think of. Futuristic. Well, when I think of. When I hear futuristic, so that's just once again. I guess it goes. <laughs> oh, no! Uh, no. <laughs> Little. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Little. Yep. Oh wow! I'm not gonna say what came to mind when I first heard little. Sorry, fellas. So a little. Um, I got nothing. I really do. I don't got nothing. Your next word is pole. Huh? Pole. P O L E. Oh, like a stripper pole. Like a stripper pole. Let's see. Pole. Oh. Yep. It's, I be coming up with the song, but I'll be knowing the word. Because while playing Meg is the you got the pole dancer song. But <laughs> This sucks. <laughs> okay. Pole dancing. Yeah, pole dancing. I just pole dancing. It's actually good exercise, from what I'm told. And there's a lot of it pole dancing classes okay. out there um, you have to have a really strong core to pull some of them strip poles off like pole. the girl who fell off the pole that was so tragic <laughs> <laughs> so 
Like I said, Miss Renee is a podcaster. She has a podcast. Miss Renee say, how did you get into it? Um, originally I wanted to do YouTube, but the camera makes me nervous. So podcasting was just easier. Okay. So and then I've been told I have the voice. I have a good voice for podcasting, so it it just kind of messes together. I remember when you were talking about wanting to do videos, and I was really happy when you decided to be a podcaster. I'm like, yes. And then the topics that you pick. Tell us about Miss Renee Say. So, Miss Renee Say is a podcast, like she said. On the podcast, listeners can share their wildest and craziest stories about sex, love, and relationships. So... That's pretty much it. Um, people send me their stories. I read them anonymously on the channel or podcast and talk about them, get my thoughts, reactions to it. Um, depending on the topic, if there's like fun facts about it, I'll give fun facts because I'm kind of a nerd that way where I like okay. information. Ooh, I like giving people- a little twist on it. You go learn something. <laughs> you learn something. So. I love that. <laughs> Okay, and how long have you been doing this for? I literally just started last month. Okay. So, so a month in, how's it feeling? It's there. It's it's definitely new for me. Um, it's a new experience. It's a new lane. Because I never thought about podcasting. I didn't even know about podcasts. Like, I've heard about them. Like, I heard about, like, Joe Budden having his podcast. Yeah. But... I didn't really know too much about podcasting, so I'm really just learning as I go. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. And the topic, how did you fall into that niche? It's my favorite topic. <laughs> <laughs> I love talking about love, sex, and relationships with people because they're most relatable subjects. So like with, <laughs> like everyone has, everyone has had sex, mm -hmm. maybe might still be virgin still out there but everyone's experienced some type of sex some love relationship there's always there's an experience there so mm -hmm. since everyone's had that same experience that kind of makes us all come together that's human it just shows your human side it's not it like it's not like religion or politics where it's this against this or there's just it's just saying oh, it's just, yeah it's just most relatable because everyone it's pretty much kind of we all do the same things there's just different things involved mm -hmm. different people different it's just different all personalities different personalities <laughs> different scenarios like there's just Ooh, different girl. things and so a lot of times because everyone's experience i think everyone's experienced something wild something crazy at least one time Mm -hmm. in there being an adult yep. Yep. so it was so crazy <laughs> I was like there's it's so crazy that sometimes you know when it happens to you like nobody will believe me this happened exactly so yes. if those are the type of stories you have that those are the type of stories I want yes. so send them in please. send them to me please how can I do that so you can send your stories to Say at gmail.com gonna be down in the description box below for any of these links just in case you guys didn't catch them so scroll down click them make them blue watch her stuff listen to her podcast follow her facebook page yes there is a facebook page it's miss renee say go like it um on both the ig page and the facebook page i just try to keep the listeners involved as in what's going on with the podcast so they're not ever in the dark so if i'm changing something they'll know instantly. Okay. So. Oh, I like that. Make sure y'all stay within the community, stay alert, be aware, and subscribe to our podcast. One last thing. Okay. In two minutes, two minutes. What was your favorite story that you've heard so far? That's already out, of course. Don't give us no insiders. Okay. So you know, what's already out? What's your favorite? Ooh, we. The top, I have two that's hard to choose. Mm -hmm which a lot of people, they might get grossed out by them. So. Yeah. Viewer's discretion advised. 
Yes, this is explicit content on the <laughs> channel, on the podcast is explicit content intended for a mature audience. So, with that being said, if you're 18 and over, hello. <laughs> Welcome. But, um, so there's a story about a woman after having a night of fun with her lover, her boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Night of just going out, having drinks and stuff. Um, she wakes up in the middle of the night to go grab a Powerade bottle because she's tired, she's thirsty, and come to find out he peed in the bottle. And she ended up drinking some of the pee by accident. She didn't know he filled the bottle up with pee. She thought it was her Powerade. So that's probably the wildest story. Yeah, shit. Oh, that's... That yeah, that one's... That one's... <sighs> So, I mean, yeah, she definitely freaked out. I was grossed out by it. So. I hope she played grip ball with his ass because he deserved it. Man, did he? So, <laughs> she definitely was saying, you know, she punched him. Because then, the- yeah, it's very explicit, but then he's kind of laughing about it. But then, like, his reaction is kind of like he might be into it. Okay. He might want to put that in the routine now, since she kind of drunk. So that was a weird way to propose it. You could have just talked to me. You don't <laughs> have to pee in my drink. Like, it's weird either way, so just talk to me. He, um, Please. He was just being lazy. Because I guess the bathroom was upstairs, they were downstairs, and he didn't feel like going upstairs. You could have poured it down the sink. You didn't have to put that. There were so many different ways. Like, it was, it was on the side. You could have peed in the sink. Like, it was on the side of the bed, so, yeah. So, he just didn't feel like getting up. So, she just kind of rolled over, thought it was her power. It was like, oh, this is it. Oh. And in the midst of screaming, she swallowed a little bit of it. And it's just. I'm sorry for you, baby. <laughs> yeah. That was, that's probably. That's tragic. That was the first story of the podcast. And that one. Probably to start off. Yeah, that set the tone. <laughs> wow, y'all really hitting on it. So thank you for coming on my show. Thank you I for really having me. I appreciated that. It was fun. Even though we talk about it's what okay. Just... It's okay. We can play it again. Yeah, I'm kind of a sore. Thanks so much for tuning in to this video. I really appreciate y'all love and support. Thank you again for coming on my show. I appreciate Hi, your baby. love and support. Of course. <laughs> and remember that you guys are worthy. 365.